The nature has invented the safest way of bringing new life into this world, a mother's womb. The tender beings are being brought up by the toughness of the sweat of every father. To make the child grow, parents take the greatest risk of spending the entire energy of life. The love that they have on their kids gives them the strength to do so. But how far the children are ready to repay? Let's watch the happy ending story of King Lear. A long time ago in England, there lived a king named Lear. He had three daughters, namely Goneril, Regan, and Cordelia. King Lear loved Cordelia, his youngest daughter, the most. As time passed by, and as King Lear grew old, he decided not to rule the kingdom any more, and divided his kingdom among his three daughters, and wanted to spend. the rest of his life peacefully with his daughters devoted people i'm not young enough to rule my kingdom anymore i have separated my kingdom into three parts i will give the best part of my kingdom to the daughter who loves me the most goneril you are the eldest speak first sir i love you as much as i love my life my health my beauty and my honor i cannot put into words how much i love you you are more than anything else in this world to me i love you more than my better half and my children i will give all the land between these two lines on the map to you your husband albany and your children how about you my dearest regan my lord i love you as much as my sister but she has not said enough nothing pleases me except my love for you my only happiness comes from my love for you great you can get a third of my kingdom now shall i give you the richest part of my kingdom Shall I give you more than I gave your sister? Cordelia, speak. Speak, my dear princess. I can say nothing, my lord. Nothing? Nothing. Nothing will bring you nothing. I bred you all, spending my whole life with love and care. Now your father is in need of relaxation for the rest of my life. Speak again. I'm waiting for your answer. I cannot put my feelings into words. You gave me life, loved me. So of course, I love you. But I'm not same as my sister. When I marry, I will have to give my husband half of my love. But never hesitate, my love for you, forever, my lord. I'm saying the truth my lord truth right from now on I will not be your father anymore how dare you say that to me I don't want to see your face anymore what a shock how come you treat your favorite daughter in this way it is a fact that a girl after marriage Who shared a love to her husband? How do you mistake your favorite daughter? 
because I do not have a tongue like my sister. But I'm glad with that. Go away. You have not pleased me. Why were you ever born? Go away. Don't you understand what I said? Go away from here. You may come with me, my dearest. I will face your loneliness and sadness. I understand your true feelings and heart. And I am feeling lucky to have such a woman as my queen. I know what you're doing. Take care of her father. You don't have to remind her duty. You no more belong to this kingdom. You don't even deserve to stand here for a moment. Get away from this place. You are clever and you hide your faults. In time, people will see the truth. For you two, I will stay with each of you for one month. Sir, I suppose you will stay with me first, right? Sure. King Lear then lived with each of his two daughters for alternative months. King Lear soon realized the fake love of them. Listen sir, your knights are always quarreling. My house is in disorder. I won't accept that. I couldn't do with this. You mean it? Such a silly question. Be sensible. You are old. You should be wise. Why do you need to keep hundred knights? I beg you, send them away, please. Darkness and devil. I made a mistake when I trusted you. You will be severely punished soon. It's with you I'm punished. Get lost you old headache. My lord, I pardon for my wife's rudeness. I could only help you to stay with your second daughter. So kind of you Mr. Ralbani. Let go. Why this old man coming here? Oh sir, so happy to see you. Welcome to our house, Lord. Thank you, my dear daughter. Of course, I'm happy too. Your sister has been so unkind to me. I was no more pleased to stay with her. Well, I will ask her to forgive you, Lord. You're old now. I think you should do what sister says. Sister knows better than me what you need and what not. Oh, please understand. I won't return to Goneril's house. No, my lord. I think you must go to sister's house. No, no, my dear. I don't want to go Goneril's house anymore. You have to. As per the agreement, you are supposed to be with Goneril for a month. Don't you remember? Well, I will not trouble you much. Let me be with my knights in the provided place without disturbing you. Hateful. I would never accept. You better send back all your followers and I can ask one of my servants to look after you. You are right, Rehan. He is not a king anymore. Why should he need all these knights? Exactly. Why should he need followers? No. Please don't make a floor dirt by weeping and wasting our time. Do you think that you will make me weep? No, I will not. A king will never do that. Goodbye, my daughters. Take care.
It seems uh, raining outside. Why did you send him? Have some courtesy, Regan. He's your father. If you are too much worried, then you take care. We don't have to care. I'm worried to look you helpless, Lord. If you don't mind, I could suggest you the best place for you to live peacefully in your last days. It's your dearest daughter Cordelia's house. I'm sure she'll accept you happily. I don't have face to stand before her Albany. I have made sin against her. Never think Cordelia same like her sisters. And sorry, Lord, with your permission, I have already sent a letter to Cordelia telling your situation. She must be glad to receive you. Come, let's go right now. father who is coming, the great king of our kingdom. Everything must be arranged to please him. Go, do your work fast. Welcome my lord, my house is blessed to have your presence. Thank you so much Mr. Albany for bringing my father safe. I'm grateful to you. He's such a nice man. I was very much anxious about my father since I heard the news that my sisters made him mad. I could serve you to my best in this house to make you feel better, my lord. My two sisters have done great harm to you. Never care those. No, I don't deserve to be alive. Please forgive me for what I've done to my princess who loved me the most and who was true to me. I know you will hate me. No, my dear Lord. How can I hate you, Majesty? You are the one and the only ruler of this kingdom and you will remain the same forever. We will support you, my Lord, to rule the kingdom again. What a pretty young lady. Who are you? Are you an angel from heaven? No, Lord. I am a daughter and this is your kingdom. And I will always be your lovable, favorite daughter forever. Be joyful. You are with your dearest daughter. What I have to give you, dear, for your kindness and goodness. I have lost everything to your sisters. You have given me life. You have given me everything. I am fortunate to be born for your noble soul. So proud of you, dear daughter. I am happy for you. Parents do not look for any share from child's development. Dear kids, all your parents' expectation is to lift your life high and leave their rest gazing at your happiness. Have some space in your life for them to feel your presence in their later days for they never think of leaving you alone when you are young. Let the lovely Cordelia from King Lear be your inspiration. Thank you. 